The owner of a Spartanburg business was in court today on sexual abuse charges. 56-year-old Wayne Hurd is charged with criminal sexual conduct with a minor. News 13's Evan Donovan spoke with some of Hurd's business associates today, and he joins us live from the Greenville News Center. Evan, how are these charges affecting his business? Well, I spoke with one of the tenants of one of the shops that Hurt rents out today, and he said he's had problems with Hurt before. Now, after these latest charges, he tells me this could be the last straw. Wayne Hurt owns the Asheville Highway Rental Company in Spartanburg. His employees wouldn't speak to us today, but he also owns the lot and rents out one of the shops to tattoo artist Don Osborne. He likes coming in here watching people and women get tattooed. He used to anyway until we had a little bit of a falling out. And ain't no secret I don't like him. Osborne says his relationship with Hurt became tenuous after some female customers felt uncomfortable during a breast cancer fundraiser. The kind of business that we're in, we have people come in here and they get in awkward positions, you know. And that's where we as professionals have to maintain our professionalism. You know, when we don't like onlookers, this is not a sideshow. Hertz arrest warrant charges that earlier this summer he engaged in sexual battery by touching the breast of a 15-year-old girl at his lake house in Lawrence County. He could face significant jail time if convicted, which makes Osborne nervous. We want everybody to feel comfortable coming in here. And if you don't feel comfortable, then you're not going to be able to get a good tattoo. You know, and it's not going to be good for business, especially since 60% of our clientele are female. Hurt has been placed under $75,000 bond by a Lawrence County magistrate, and his next court date will be January 10th. But for now, Osborne is still his tenant. I think I'm going to be on my way out. I don't think I can rent from the man anymore. I don't know what kind of legal things I'm going to have to go through or whatever, but he can do what he's got to do, and I'm going to do what i got to do, and that's saved my business, you know, and the reputation of this business. I spoke to a lawyer earlier today about this situation. He tells me whether Osborne can get out of his lease or not all depends on what's in the contract between them and whether there's any language about unlawful behavior. Reporting live from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan.